Okay. Whew. I've been sitting here making these things all day. Probably can't see me, but... Well, not all day, but anyway, on and off all day. So I'm just kind of cooked, but I realized, you know, I should really film this because people have asked me about making like a bottle, you know, shape, uh, bringing it in, and um, so I'm going to show you. Okay. I'm not going to talk too much about all the basics, but I will talk about bringing it in. I'll make a few of them so you can watch it a couple times. These are, uh, I call them Raku candle vases or candle lanterns. This is the body of them and I've made like, I'm probably making like 90 of them today or something like that, which is fine, but tomorrow I'm going to just be <laughs> suffering. This is not Amy taking care of her future self, except for that it is. I'll just dry them slowly and do some tomorrow and some the day after. Okay, so okay, so these these ones that I'm making are just kind of round bellied. And so first thing, finish off the outside. Oh wait, so I didn't tell you what I did. So I made my pot. I want this to kind of have a nice. Uh, by the way, when you're learning to throw, never stop the wheel like this. I'm just stopping it because I'm going to be talking to you and I need to lean down and all that. But the wheel never needs to stop. That's a good beginner tip. Just don't stop the wheel until you're going to take off the pot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm saying that with a funny attitude, but you just don't need to. It's better to keep it going. So, um, okay. Anyway, let me just do it. So finish up the pot. Start from the bottom. I put my footer... I never trim anything, any vertical pots. I only trip, trim bowls and plates. Okay. I won't be able to get my hand inside this after this, so I finish up the bottom. Wet my fingers down. Okay. This hand, my left hand is going to collar. This hand, these two fingers are going to throw. These two fingers. I don't know if what you can see, what you can't. Anyway, so I speed up the wheel. I do my exhale. I bring it in. One hand collars, one hand throws. These two fingers. Then I go back with my fingers and finish the form. Again, the wheel going as fast as I can handle without going, without losing control. Then I use the magic rib. Make a little detail. And... I'm sure there's other things I could say about it, so I'll make another one and then I'll say other things about it. <laughs> you dry up your hands, then you can just pick the pot up. Ta da! Okay, here we go again. We have a nice angle on this. So yeah, these get cut in half. They get um, cut all apart. I cut de decorate designs into them, and then you put a candle inside them, and they project the light on the walls. I know a lot of people make candle designs. This one came out of a dream, actually. I used to make these this other style, and the other style was not working out so good <laughs> because you had to drop the candle in from the top and then um, figure out how to get it lit and, and there was always a problem of lots of wax inside and just all kinds of complications. This this design solved like a million problems. So whoops. So and it was cool because it came out of a dream. I was like going to bed and I was like thinking about my candle vases and how they weren't working out and then I woke up and I was like bing I had the whole answer. Cut them in half. That's how you get the candle in. Cut them in half. Cut them in half and raccoon them so they don't get too hot. And you can fire them separately. One up, one down. Top fires upside down. Such a great design. Don't steal it!
<laughs> oh no, I forgot to talk about what I was doing, but at least you could watch. It's just it's just the same old thing same thing again that I said before. I'll make one more. You don't have to watch them all if it's getting boring. But you know, actually for me, that was the biggest way I learned. I sat there, I would I would love to sit for hours and watch my teacher slash boyfriend <laughs> at the time. Uh, he's just an amazing potter and great teacher and just I felt like I learned by osmosis just from watching him but it's good to get some tips and it's good to have somebody watch you and point out what you're missing do, 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 do. one day I'll um, <laughs> I'll play music for you somebody requested that I do another dancing video but I don't know just not that I can't um, I could do that again, I guess, but that time was so spontaneous and I never meant to post it anywhere. It was more for dancing than for pottery, but it's funny that I wind up posting all these pottery videos. It's most, mostly it's supposed to be for me. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so maybe one day I'll get my guitar out <laughs> and sing you some songs. Okay, here we go. Let me see if I can tell you about something I'm doing. Okay, it's wide base. Every cylinder you ever make should start off with a cone. The first pull is just to make the wall even. Here we go. Second pull. Check it out. I haven't told you any of this stuff. Okay, I'm moving the clay. I'm not moving the clay. When I get to the part that's going to collar in, I want to leave a lot of clay right there. It's thick. Top inch or so. Very thick. I make the shape mostly just pushing out from the inside. Yeah, tracing it with my hand. I finish the shape. <laughs> That's so funny, I wasn't talking at all before. I didn't tell you anything. <laughs> I'm like, here, this is how I do it. Flutter. Magic rib. Magic rib. Did you make one yet? Just buy one of these flimsy things and cut it like that. You'll love me for that. Okay, two fingers. Claw, or this is the claw and this is the collar, right? Oh, fingers are wet, but kind of clean, right? Drip, no drips, but wet. Okay, one hand throws it in, the other hand collars. If it goes off, I also have my thumb right there to compress the rim as I'm doing that. So, and then I throw the shape. Throw it in, throw it in, way in. <laughs> oh gosh. This is what I do all day. I just entertain myself being silly. It's fun. So fun. Being silly is so fun. Okay. Alright. I'm sure, okay, you're going to have questions. Just ask me the questions. I'm sure I could have said a lot more about what I was doing. And I didn't. Should I do one more? Let me try to do one more and see if I'm leaving anything out. Okay. That wasn't the prettiest one. Some of them are not as pretty. What are you going to do? Kill it? I could kill it. Alright, last one. Let's see. What can I teach you here? Relax. Relax. Don't forget the exhales. Mm -hmm. Okay, first pull. Just make the wall even. Grab some clay from the bottom. Okay, that's as thick as the rim is going to be. I'm not, not the rim, but yeah, the top of it. I'm not going to um, thin it out. I'm going to pull, pull the clay from the bottom. Leave the top. Leave it thick. Make the roundness, finish the form, water, flutter, finish the bottom, here we go, the power move, one hand collars, one hand throws, Shh. wheel speeds up, I think I've told you everything. 
maybe right here with this last finger thing. I'm kind of digging my finger underneath and the other fingers kind of, I don't know, they're just kind of in an interesting relationship on that one. It's hard for me to really describe it, but it's kind of like they're going like, something like that. Okay. Glad to be back to throwing. Sometimes glazing just feels like it takes forever. Okay. Hopefully that gave you some answers that you are looking for. At the very least, I made four more <laughs> things. <laughs> Candle vases. Oh, here, I'll show you. I'll show you basically what they're going to be like. I have some that I made the other day. Finish this morning. So, okay. Here's one. Maybe you've seen these before if you've been to my Etsy site, but so I cut it out. I cut it apart, but I cut it up, but I also first cut it apart. So it's two pieces. Oh, I don't know what you can see and what you can't. So it's two pieces like that. And then they get fired like this. And this one gets waxed in a kind of a nice pattern. So that's it. They're really pretty. Hole for the um for the heat coming out of the coming from the candle, and then you can also put a little dish in there and create a little aromatherapy scene. So, ta-da! <laughs>